welcome back to Bitfumes. In this episode, we are going to show the details of the item by clicking this eye icon. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel. And the cool thing about Laravel, so if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So firstly, we have to create its click event. So let's open project in Sublime. And let's go to resources, assets, JS, component, home.view because this icon is on home view. Okay, so here we have this icon. Let's say at click, that means on click. I want to say open show because we are going to show the details. So open show, this means we have to create a new method called open show good so it's instead of this open show and we have to create a show active so show active data so let's create that show active data it's everything same how we can open the add model we are going to open the show model so that's great and this means if i go to chrome reload the page open chrome dev tool go to view dev tool and on this home you can see we have add active but we don't have any add show active because we have to run our npm watch command so open terminal and here i will say npm run watch so it is successfully built let's go to chrome once more reload the page and open this home component and yes we have show active and whenever I click on any of this give here and yes it's having is active string so this is working this good but we just want to create a new component so let's create a new component called show dot view and let's create template and template is just going to have a model so let's give this model and copy paste but we don't need all these things so we just firstly want to open this model so firstly we will delete all these things because otherwise it will give some kind of error so this is good and we don't need any small tag similarly this one and again no small this one small and no small and these are okay so we have all these things we don't have any v model so control d then move like this and everything is good so we have to open this model so you can see we have this model binding of the class with open model prop so we have to create that prop so let's create a prop so we have to create a script in the script we have to say export default here we will say props inside the props open model and go to home view as we have imported this component let's import show component so i will say show okay but this has to be small s okay this is great let's get the component so show is required by show so what we have done we have imported the show component then we have used the show component in our home component the component inside the component this show component having a prop of open model which is binded towards this show active data and this show active data will get is active string whenever I click on I icon and whenever there is a event of close request it will going to close and the last thing we have to do we have to tell our view that we are going to use this show component also and now let's go to Chrome and npm watch is running so that's why we don't have to care about any reload so let's reload and click on this icon and yes we have this model everything is empty it's just like add model let's click on cancel it's not going to cancel why let's see because we don't have any uh, close method here inside our 
show component so let's just copy that from here so this is like copy and methods paste everything is good reload view we have to click cancel it's not closing event is emitted but it's not closing because we have to go to home then you can see on the close method it's only doing one thing this is add active is going to be empty but instead of this i want show active also to be empty so show active also to be empty so reload click cancel and everything is working and now what we need we need to get the key of the list we have so we have to pass just the key and in the last episode we have seen we have created the key and the key is just like the index so we have passed the key and we have to get the key here in our method and how we can pass this key to our show component so that we can show only that details of the list so here comes the children part so let's just console dot log this dot dollar children and let's go to show dot view because if I go to console reload the page it says error because we have not created any save changes method so let's delete this click event we don't want this even we don't want any save changes button okay that's great so let's go to home we have console log children let's go to chrome reload the chrome click on this view and you can see we have two components this is good because our home component has two children components so if i want to get the second component i will say one so reload console click and you can see we are only getting the detail of second component which is our show component you can see show component okay now we have to pass the data from our open show method to our children so what we can do we can simply say dot list is equal to this dot lists and we have to provide the key so what this will going to do this will pass from our list the data only to children list but we don't have any list data on our show component so let's create that so i will say data is going to return and list okay so that's good let's go to chrome reload this chrome go to the show and you can see show has the list data which is empty but if I click on this second one, second I, you can see this particular list has details of the person or the item we have clicked. That's great. Now, if I click on first one, what happened? The data is now changed. So we just want to display these things on our model. So that's great. So let's go to Sublime. Instead of using this text box I'm going to simply use a p tag which is going to display list dot name similarly here list dot phone and here list dot email so let's go to chrome reload the page click on this and you can see name is this phone is this and email is this if i close this everything is good but it's looking not so cool so let's go to sublime once more and here on the show component what i will do i will firstly create a ally of having class of panel block then we will use a label and label will be a class of column is 2 okay and here I will say name and just doing this thing paste this here let's delete this one from here reload the chrome 
and you can see it's good good for now but if I do this thing phone email this is for phone this is for email so here come phone here come also phone then comes email here also come email and let's just delete these things from here reload the page and it's good if you want you can use some bold tag here so that it will be bold so I have pressed shift ctrl and w to create a wrapping p tag and now I will say simply now save this file go to chrome reload the page and everything is looking cool and second one is great everything is good so in the next episode we are going to see how we can edit all these things via this edit icon and obviously we are using a model so if you have any doubt we feel free to comment me message me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode with some new cool features until then goodbye